guys, welcome to another vlog. I am starting to pack for a little staycation. So I mentioned in my last vlog that my husband and I booked um, a room and we are gonna be there tonight and tomorrow night, so just like for over the weekend. We are um, gonna be boarding Butters at her school. She loves it there, so that is not a worry that we have, so that's it's really great. Um, so yeah, we are just kind of slowly, it's kind of weird doing a staycation because it's not like we have to rush and like catch a flight or anything. Um, so we're just kind of like taking our time today um, and neither of us have started packing yet. So I just, uh, you know, walked into my uh, filming area to grab some makeup and figured I would, you know, just start vlogging now. I don't know if you guys did catch my, um, last vlog, but I also did a PR haul, and in it, Westman Atelier sent me the most adorable gift. So this is one of their, like, leather, leather charms, and I have been dying to get the letter M, but it had been sold out, and they did mention that they would be restocking them soon, and they sent one to me. I, I love it so much, and I do have one of their vanity bags. So I'm just gonna tie the leather charm onto my vanity bag here and bring this along for the weekend. How cute is that? Oh my god, I love it so much. So this is the vanity bag that Western Atelier designed with Metier, which is I think a, a London-based leather goods brand. I think they're London-based. Anyway, they also created these leather charms as well. So let me go ahead and pack up this bag. I'm not gonna be bringing too much. Again, we're just there for two nights, but I spent um, a big chunk of yesterday figuring out all of the food reservations. <laughs> so tonight we're going out to the Strip House, which is in Planet Hollywood, and we are staying at the Aria, which is kind of attached to uh, the Crystal Shopping Mall. And when you walk through Crystal Shopping Mall, you can walk to the Cosmo and Planet Hollywood, like very, very easily. And then Aria is in the same city center as Waldorf. And like, if you kind of like exit out the opposite way from Crystals uh, out of Aria, you can walk towards Bellagio. So for those of you who have never visited Vegas or you wanna come back and you're thinking, where should I stay? I love staying in the city center. I love staying at Aria, Waldorf, or Videra. Videra is like the just the hotel. There's no casino or anything. Actually, same with uh, the Waldorf, uh, which used to be the Mandarin Oriental. Um, so yeah, so Aria is like the big casino and hotel. And we booked one of the be one bedroom sky suites. So I can't wait to show you guys what that looks like. I've stayed at um, the Aria sky suites like a gazillion years ago. Actually, before I moved to Vegas. Uh, one time when I came to visit, I stayed in one of the Sky Suites, and it was really nice. Very, very modern, at least at that point. It was very modern, you know, everything was like on a panel, everything was over an iPad. Um, so that was pretty cool. But anyway, that's where we're staying. Tonight we're going to the Strip House. Um, and then, yeah, we have like dinner and lunch and all these reservations made. I'm really excited. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. We're going to be eating getting massages, laying in bed, getting room service, watching TV, sleeping. I'm gonna be sleeping a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So anyway, with all of that in mind, I'm thinking what do I need to pack in terms of makeup? Um, I'm not gonna pack too much because all of the dinners that we're doing, like none of them are especially fancy. Like tonight, like I mentioned, we're going to Strip House, which is a steakhouse in Planet Hollywood. It's actually one of our favorite steakhouses in New York. Um, we actually used to live around the corner from there. So the Strip House in New York is on 12th Street between 5th and University. And the Strip House here is in Planet Hollywood. And we've never been to the one here. So we thought, oh my God, we have to hit the one here. So we're doing that tonight. And then, yeah. And then, you know, all the rest of our um, meals are pretty casual. I'm just gonna bring some light stuff. Actually, Westman Italian makeup will be perfect for this. All right, I'm gonna throw in my brow gel. That is a must. I am going to throw in my Dior um, concealer, the Backstage Concealer. And I think I'm just going to use the Glow Screen SPF 40 and not bother with like foundation or anything. I'm just gonna use these two things as base. 
And then I'm going to bring the Westman Atelier uh, Vital Skin Press Powder in Creme in case I just need to kind of touch up and mattify. And then I think I'm just going to grab some of the Westman Atelier um, sticks. So I'm going to grab Pop It, which is the bright pink. And in this bag, of course, Westman Atelier designed it so that it fits the any of her sticks like perfectly. She has all of these little sections right here. Um, and then I'm also gonna bring Minette. So this is a really light peach. This is a really bright pink. So I feel like that'll cover all of my moods. Um, I was just gonna throw in the highlight stick, but because I have the glow screen, I don't think I need it. This is, this is good enough for highlight. Eyeshadow, let me just find a good one and done shadow. That'll make things a lot easier. Got the Jones Road um, Pewter shade. I'm gonna throw that in. That's a nice cool tone. And then maybe something warm toned, which makes me th think I should, yeah, I'm gonna bring the Westman Atelier Tabac, which is a little bit peachier than the pewter. So I've got eyes covered. I'm gonna throw in the Hourglass Voyeur um, waterproof gel eyeliner in Cave. And then bring my Lancome Louis Hypnos Serum Mascara. So we're good with mascara. Oh, let me find my eyelash curler. Very important. And lips. Lips, lips, lips. I'm going to bring my Natasha Denona Ilona lip pencil. This is, I think, NP2? Yeah, NP2. I'm going to throw this in. This is a lip liner that is pretty universal. Works well with almost everything. And... I am going to bring, I'm going to bring the Merit Signature Lipstick in Slip. And then I want to find a gloss. Actually, I'm going to bring my Armani Lip Power in 102 also. This is kind of a great everyday staple for me. Oh, and I'm realizing that my um, Chanel gloss, the 804 <laughs> Rose Nafe that I love, that's actually in my handbag. So I've got lip gloss. In fact, I think I have a couple of glosses sitting in there. Uh, so I think I'm good. So this is what the makeup bag looks like. I've actually got plenty of room. I could bring more sticks if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna bother. It's gonna get too heavy. Um, and I should figure out if I need any brushes or if I just brought stuff that I can use my fingers with. I think I can put everything on with fingers. Not my favorite, but maybe, hmm. Let me throw a few brushes in here. All right, I'm gonna bring my BK Beauty travel brushes except for my favorite 101 brush in the travel set because I believe it's dirty. I'm looking around my vanity and I think I threw it in my bathroom because it's dirty. So I'm gonna bring these and then I'm gonna bring um, my Bobbi Brown foundation brush, which is uh, kind of similar. It's not the same shape as the 101 brush, but you know, I use it for the same purposes. So I'm gonna bring these, actually I don't need to bring all of these. I'm not gonna bring these eye brushes actually because I just have those um, cream shadows that I packed. So I'm just gonna bring these three brushes. So I just added this one in. I took away those BK Beauty eye brushes because I, <laughs> I'm only bringing those two potted shadows and this brush will be really good for potted shadows. I wanted to bring my Westman Atelier Baby Blender brush, but that's dirty too. And I just don't feel like washing brushes right now. So I'm just gonna bring these three and I'm just putting them in a the little uh, pocket that's like on the inside of the lid. And that's it. That is my makeup bag all packed. So now I have to pack my skincare. <laughs> that is going to be a lot bigger, a lot heavier. Hi Butters, do you wanna help me pack? Well, we have to pack your little bag, don't we? No. They have everything you need there, huh? So Trini London sent me this really cool, like vanity bag is all mirrored. It's really neat and it's a really good size. It is definitely bigger than the Westman Atelier bag. So maybe this will be great for um, like skincare and stuff. So I'm gonna go upstairs and pack up that stuff now. Did you wanna help Butters? You wanna come upstairs with mommy? No. Oh, now that I'm up here, I'm reminded that I use that Exponent Beauty Retinol Cream. If you guys caught my last vlog, it's that brand where you buy, basically you like pick out 
what powder you want and then you mix it together with it's really cool really really cool if you're into chemistry <laughs> or chemistry sets you're gonna really really love the uh, idea of this but anyway but anyway I use their retinol cream and because my skin is so sensitive I just put it here uh, along my jawline I didn't put it all over because I just wanted to kind of kind of spot test and so far so good and my skin is feeling like really really um, soft because the only retinol I use is through the droplet device, that retinol does not bother my skin at all. I was like so happy. Um, I've never really looked into retinol because it's just it's just bothered my skin. So I really need to look into what exactly it does. I mean, I know it's, it has anti-aging qualities to it or whatever, but I really need to look into it because my skin feels really, really soft. Uh, but anyway, I don't know that I'm gonna pack that because it's kind of bulky. I mean, even though I'm staying local, I really don't have to worry about, you know, packing for a plane or carry-on or anything like that. I, I still just don't want to bring, like, that much stuff. Um, but I do want to bring my essentials. <laughs> now, this isn't necessarily a toiletry thing, but I always bring, I always pack, like, a hair towel because it just makes drying your hair just so much better. So I'm going to put that actually in the bottom of my case here. I'm just going to line uh, the bottom, which will actually be very helpful. Um, and then I do have this little kit from when I went to, is this from when I went to Cabo? Maybe this is from when I went to Cabo. So I do have some good things in here like my Kogendo makeup remover, which is great. I have some cotton pads, which I like to bring with me. I do have my Aqua Universalis travel size. That looks pretty low. That looks pretty low. Okay, hopefully that will, that will last. And then in here is toner. This is not actually the gentle makeup remover from Sicily. This is something else. So I think I may need to fill that back up with some toner. And then I do have the OC cleanser here. Do I want to bring this one? I think I may want to bring one of my cleansing balms. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Okay. Oh, I definitely want to bring this. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. Um, but the May Lindstrom Jasmine Garden like facial mist spray. I have been loving this. I've been spraying my face with this a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. And a tip, if you ever travel to Vegas, that like this being in the desert, you have no idea. Your cuticles are gonna crack, your lips are gonna start cracking like when you're not used to it. I'm used to it and I feel like when I go to the casinos because the AC is just like blasting, um, I still feel like a little bit parched when I go there. So. This, any kind of facial spray is great, but I love, love, love this Jasmine Garden one from May Lindstrom. I've been loving this. So I'm gonna throw this in my little bag. Okay, toner has been put into the little bottle, and then I'm just gonna throw in my Sicily Essential Skincare Lotion. I feel like I had a little bottle of this, but I think I, oh, here it is. So I usually like decant a little bit in here, but again, because I don't have to worry about, you know, carry on and all that stuff. I think I may just bring this whole bottle. Yeah, because this twists closed. So I'm gonna bring this bottle and then I'm gonna bring my Augustinus Batter, the cleansing balm. That's what I've been using to wash my face. I've been predominantly using the Beauty Pie Youth Balm Serum. That's been really nice. Um, but May Lindstrom sent me their Youth Dew which is a really, really uh, rich serum. It almost feels like a facial oil. So I think I'm gonna bring the May Lindstrom. It's smaller, and because it is so rich, and I was just talking about how dry it is on the strip, I think this will actually be really great. So I'm gonna bring this. This is a glass bottle, so just have to be careful packing it. Definitely have to bring my Revive SPF 50. Deciding between the La Mer Soft Moisturizing Cream or the Moisturizing Soft Lotion. Did I say this right? Moisturizing Soft Cream. <laughs> moisturizing Soft Lotion. Um, the lotion is just a little bit lighter than the cream, but I like that it comes in a pump. But I feel like I'm gonna need this. Like I'm gonna need this. It has just a little bit more moisture. All right, I'll pack the, I'll pack the soft cream. So I I think that's it for skincare. Let's talk about hair. I don't really do much, <laughs> don't really do much with my hair on a good day. 
Um, am I going to do much while I am trying to relax? All right, I'm going to bring my cream from Sisley. This is great, like thermal protectant. And then I'm going to bring um, this Leonor Grail styling cream, which is really, really great for like controlling my my crazy, crazy hair up here. So I'll bring those two things. And I think that'll be, I think that'll be good. So if there's room in my luggage, because there's no more room in my, <laughs> my little vanity bag here, um, and these are pretty big, uh, I'm going to bring the Amon coconut milk bath and my Augustinus batter uh, body butter, I think they call it. Oh no, the body cream. I'm going to bring these two things because I think I want to take a bath at the hotel. They usually have really nice bathtubs. Okay, so we've got hair stuff, bath stuff, skin care. Do I need to pack my own shampoo and conditioner? Okay, I grabbed a few things out of my shower. Now I really have to stop because this is getting out of control. But I'm going to bring my Augustinus Batter shampoo, conditioner, which I'm really enjoying. I think I purchased that set during the Sephora sale. And I've been meaning to give you guys an update. I just haven't used it that consistently because I've had my Sisley shampoo and conditioner, which you guys know I love. Um, but I have been starting to use this more and I really like it. I really like it. Anyway, more to come on that. And then I almost forgot my like daytime face wash, which is quite different from like a cleansing balm situation. So this is the Amora Beats uh, uh, cleansing foam. I should definitely bring this because like I said, it's, it's very different from like a cleansing balm. Okay. Now this is filled to the brim. It's not that heavy actually. It's filled to the brim. And then I've got some of my bath hair stuff here. And that's it. I'm just going to pack up some clothes. Nothing, nothing terribly exciting. Like I said, we have dinner out tonight and then dinner out tomorrow. Other than that, I think I'm just going to be kind of bumming around. We have massages scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. Um, we have a very casual lunch planned. We're going to go to the Taiwanese restaurant there. My husband's dying for soupy buns. Um, and I think that's, I think that's it. By the way, I love this Ramoa luggage. I, um, I think I talked about it when I went to New York, when I was planning on going to New York. I had just purchased them then. I needed a, a luggage glow up. And so I got this size that you just saw me packing and a larger size. They're, they're just, they're so good. And some feedback I got from you guys who have Ramoa luggage talked about how it's great that the wheels are really like smooth and like they glide really easily, but because of that, and there are no stoppers, like if you just leave this on an incline, it will just start to go. Um, but knowing that, I feel like I'm okay with it. Like I just like put my leg up against it to like block it or whatever, and I'm fine. And let me give you a close up here. It has been to New York and Cabo. So it's been on a few flights. This is the, I guess the third time I'll be using it. And the corners are aluminum, so these are definitely kind of scratching up a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's held up pretty well. I don't even know if this is something I can like polish off. But anyway, it's luggage, so I don't expect it to stay, <laughs> to stay like really pristine looking for a long time, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I, I just love it. It's like the perfect luggage to me. It's simple. I can shove a lot of stuff in there. It's light, it rolls easily. I just, yeah, I've been loving, loving, loving the Ramoa luggage. I feel like their uh, reputation is, is well deserved for sure. So I packed my um, black and white Chanel dad sandals. I was just, it's kind of a no brainer. I just wear them so much. And I packed uh, my black and white Zara dress. I figured oh, I'll just wear it with that. I don't think I need to pack them because I was gonna wear my new Fendi sandals with what I'm wearing today, and I think that will go with that dress, because I'm planning on wearing that dress tomorrow. I also packed my Prada Crystal Mules that I'm gonna wear tonight. I don't know, let me think about this. I feel like I always get caught up in the shoes because they take up so much space. You have to be really careful with what you pack, and I always have to pack my slippers, which take up a lot of room. 
Hmm. Let me think about this. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to wear these and then I think this is what I'll end up wearing with that dress. I don't think it matches perfectly, but I also kind of don't care. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to wear these and then, oh, I do have to pack, I have to pack a bag for tonight, let's see. So I'm just going to pack my little Bottega clutch as like my evening bag for tonight because I'm going to bring my Chanel 22 bag. That I feel like I'm going to be able to carry everywhere, but it does not go with my black dress and these Prada crystal mules. That would look kind of strange. So I'm going to bring this bag. Right now. All that I have left, which is easy, is just like my laptop and, and you guys, my camera and everything. Um, and I'm all set. Yes. Sitting area, little bar, table, oh, half bath. That's convenient. There's like a little control panel. I think I mentioned that before. <laughs> and then we've got the boudoir. Ooh. So we are on the 55th floor. And we are facing towards the strip. So that is, I don't know if you guys can see that, that's the Las Vegas Boulevard strip there. Well, you can see the high roller between the two uh, buildings there. This is the Cosmo. Nice. And then let's take a look at the bathroom. Ah, nice. Oh, I'm glad I brought my bath stuff. <laughs> We've got closets here. Um, the toilet, <laughs> the shower, and the vanity. Nice. This is a really beautiful room. Look at this carpeting. Oh, I love that. That like. Is that Harry Ron? No, this is Chevron. Well, I'm glad we are finally in the room. Uh, there was a bit of a delay. Uh, checking in, they, I think they're short-staffed. I think, unfortunately, that is a thing going on on the strip uh, these days. So we're actually probably going to be a little bit late for dinner because we were just downstairs waiting for the room. Um, so I'm going to, I don't even think I have time to change. I think I may change my shoes 
and then off we go to the strip house which is in planet hollywood we can walk over there thankfully so i think we're just gonna go do that now Hello. So we had a change in plans. Uh, very last minute, just I, I thought it was the best. So we went down uh, downstairs, you know, we were just kind of like milling around, uh, getting ready to go to the spa, kind of waiting around to go to the spa. And my right lower back, which has given me some issues in the past, this is actually a different one from the initial issue that I had, if you guys have been following me for a while. Uh, but anyway, my lower back, it just felt really uh tight if any of you have had back problems you know what you know what i mean when i say like i just felt like if i made any sudden moves like i was going to throw it out and i'm suspecting like the bed here is really comfortable no problems with the bed at all but it's different it's different from my bed at home and i'm thinking that's that's got to be it um just maybe sleeping differently or whatever anyway long story short i decided to skip the massage because I just know when my back feels this way, it's better left kind of like untouched. Um, so I canceled it and they were really nice about it because they have a four hour cancellation policy. Um, my, ha my husband canceled his. Um, he was like, oh, we'll just, you know, hang out or whatever. So I decided to take a bath in the room um, because I brought my coconut milk um, like bath salts uh, to put in the bath and it was really nice and actually my back feels like a bit better now so I think it's just tight and 
it was so steamy i'm like sweating um but yeah i ran just to, like a really hot bath i turned on the jacuzzi jets for a little while so i am feeling better now which is great and now we're just sort of hanging around uh waiting to go to lunch we're gonna hit that uh taiwanese dumpling place downstairs din tai fung really excited uh to try it uh, my husband is really excited he's been wanting to go here since it opened but you know because of everything going on uh, we just haven't gotten a chance so we are waiting to do that and i'm just gonna sit here and lounge i actually have a little bit of uh work to do i have to upload my video for tomorrow so i'm just gonna do that no big deal just sit up my laptop so that is it until lunch <music> strip here without my reflection in the window which is pretty tough but I think you can see it through my reflection there's the MGM Grand and in front of us those blue lights that's um, the Veer Towers Planet Hollywood you can see the high roller flashing <laughs> So I totally failed at vlogging dinner tonight. We're already back. I'm in my jammies. Um, we are getting ready to go to bed. I forgot to bring extra batteries for my vlogging camera. So that died like earlier today. And then I was, I've just been on my phone and so my phone died <laughs> right before we went to dinner. And I was like, oh well. Um, but we just went to Beauty and Essex at the Cosmo and it was, it was lovely. Um, we had been to the Beauty in Essex in New York, and um, that one's like really special because it's like behind this pawn shop. It's really cool. Not to say that this one isn't special, but it's it's different. I mean, it's you know in the middle of a casino, uh, but it was very good. It was very good. So, yeah, we're just getting ready for bed. We are <laughs> exhausted from all of the eating. <laughs> eating and lounging that we've been doing. This is our last night here, so we're just gonna pass out. Tomorrow morning, we actually have an early morning reservation at Zen Kitchen, Cafe, Zen something, but it's uh, one of the restaurants in the Waldorf Astoria, which used to be the Mandarin Oriental, um, and they apparently have this excellent breakfast. So I thought, oh, let's go there for our last morning. So we're doing that. Our reservation's at 8.15. I will make sure my phone is plugged in. I just charged it a little bit just to do this bit of vlogging and I think it's dying already. So um, 
I'll make sure to plug this in, vlog that, and then we're gonna check out. But I'll see you guys in the morning. getting ready for our breakfast that we have over at Zen, still can't remember the name, Zen Kitchen, I think, <laughs> over at uh, the Waldorf. I've got about 20 minutes before I have to be there. So as you guys saw, I just made myself some coffee, took a little shower, got dressed, and now putting on my makeup for the day. So putting on some of that Super Goop glow screen SPF 40. I'm actually layering it on top of you know, my Revive SPF uh, 50. Yeah, my SPF 50. Okay. And then let's see. Concealer. Important, right here. I always get these strange little hives. I don't know if you could see it. I look at this teeny tiny hive situation. I get them around my eyes when my allergies are acting up and I guess they're acting up because I woke up with this one here and I'm like, ooh, okay. Or maybe it's just a different environment here at the hotel. I don't know. Then, what else did I bring? I've got my brow gel. I've got, oh, I've got my Baby Cheeks blush sticks. I'm gonna put on Minette since that is a lighter peach shade versus the Pop It, which I brought um, but since we're just going to brunch, <laughs> I'm wearing white. Nothing too dramatic. I'm going to put the lighter one on. Did I say brunch? We're just going to breakfast. This is far from brunch. Our reservation is at 8.15. You can probably still hear the sleep in my voice. And brow gel. My Dior Onset brow gel. I don't know if you guys caught my mid-year favorites, but this made an appearance. Then eyeshadow. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw on some of the Westman Atelier to black color. And I did bring a brush for this. Yeah, I brought my Sonia G. Is this the jumbo? No, soft concealer brush. So let's roll it in here. Oh my God. I hit pan. <laughs> I do not hit pan on makeup very often. That's incredible. Well, that says a lot. You guys know how much I love this eyeshadow. Got my Lancome Le Wheat Hypnos Mascara. And do I want to put on eyeliner? I don't think so. I'm going to go straight to lips. So I've got my Armani. I've got a whole bunch of <laughs> sitting in my purse, of course. Some lip glosses, some lip balm. What do I have in there? I think I'll do, I've got the Merit Signature Lip. Let's see. A little brown for what I'm looking for. This is the Armani. I thought, let me put this on. I wonder if it's too nude. Add a little bit of lip liner and that'll, I don't know, kind of make it stand out a bit more. so tight oh I think it's like the all right I think I'm all ready for breakfast and just a very quick outfit super plain I think this is from H&M Everlane jeans my Fendi sandals that I've been wearing pretty much all weekend <laughs> that's it <laughs>
snack from breakfast. That was giant. I couldn't finish my pancakes. I ate two out of three. <laughs> um, so delicious. And I ordered the chicken sausage and I did not like them because they were kind of sweet. And I don't like, <laughs> you guys know this, <laughs> if you've been watching me for a while, but I don't like sweet meat. Like I don't like barbecue sauce and stuff on my meat. I just, I like my meat savory. So it was kind of sweet. So I skipped the sausage. So I'm just stuffed from two out of those. So I'm just stuffed from two of those pancakes, which is actually not really a surprise. They were giant. <laughs> so, so good. Highly recommend the Zen Kitchen for breakfast at the Waldorf. So I'm just gonna pack up. We have a few hours until checkout, but I'm gonna pack up and then we're gonna do what we've been waiting to do all weekend, which is go pick up Miss Butters <laughs> from daycare. <laughs> okay, we're at Butters Daycare. We're actually in line, <laughs> waiting to get her. There's a cart in front of us. So as soon as they come out with their pup, oh my God, I just noticed that <laughs> the front door of Butters Daycare, it says a country club for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> hi baby hi oh mommy missed you mommy missed you oh you have a little flower oh okay okay oh you want to drive do you want to drive baby <laughs> oh we miss you mm. 